Hey everybody, <laughs> uh, it's been a week, what can I tell you, um, hopefully doing this collection update will vilify things, I'm not quite sure. Um, as you know, we always start with the Blu-rays, and we are going to start with the new releases, but first we are going to make two exceptions. Uh, this I actually grabbed at, um, at Barnes & Noble. They had it out a week early, um, and I thought that they were just doing a 4K of this, um, but it turns out they were doing a Blu-ray special edition of it. Now, I already have the movie. Uh, it's all the way over there. I already have the movie on Blu-ray. Um, it is one of my top five favorite films of all time, and that is True Romance. Um... This movie is a masterpiece. I absolutely love it. This set is awesome. First of all, I still have the J card in here, um, kind of resting peacefully. We do have the Blu-ray with the original theatrical poster, reversible artwork in there, along with some lobby cards. This was awesome. You get a double-sided poster, the commissioned artwork, and then the original theatrical artwork. And then, of course, you get the Arrow video booklet. Uh, this has not only all of these special features that were on the um, original release, it has a bunch of new features as well. So I gotta gotta get around to rewatching this because it's been quite a long time. I actually like the artwork better on this release than I do on the 4K release because it resem it resembles, I think, the feel of the movie a little bit more. Um, yeah, really, really cool. And then this I didn't watch, um, mainly because I want to wait until the whole series is out so I can binge this, but this is seasons one and two of The Boys on Blu-ray. I hear that this show is spectacular, I hear it's amazing. If you guys have seen it, let me know. Now on to the new releases. These three I uh, got from Dollar Tree. These are 2021 titles that I knew were going to hit Dollar Tree. Uh, Dollar Tree shelves at any point in time these are all the blu-ray dvd combo packs we have shimmer this one was actually not too bad um like this little psychological thriller about this like uh light that if it gets close enough to you it turns you into shards of glass uh pretty interesting not the greatest thing in the world but not too bad this one i also thought wasn't too bad this is synapse uh an action thriller basically Kind of like a low-budget memento, um, but yeah, also worth a watch. I really enjoyed this. And then this I didn't care for. This is the Bazonians. Um, this I thought was not very good. Uh, a very low-rent, um, like Snatch or Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. Uh, I just thought it was really annoying and irritating. I wasn't a huge fan of this. And Vinnie Jones is featured prominently on the cover. He's in it for 10 minutes, so what can you do? Uh, and then... Alright. So this I saw in theaters. This is the Blu-ray DVD digital code combo pack of Blacklight. Really enjoyed this movie. I know a lot of people hate this. Um, I thought it was enjoyable. It is what it is. I knew what it was going into it. I still enjoyed it. Really, really had a fun time with that. This is still one of the best of the year so far. This is the Blu-ray digital code combo pack of The Outfit. Highly recommend that if you guys haven't seen this yet, you definitely need to check this out. Um, it's just an amazing, intense movie. I loved it. Then we have the Blu-ray DVD digital code combo pack of Turning Red. Really, really good uh, Disney Pixar film. I did see this on Disney Plus when it uh, premiered. Uh, some pretty cool special features as well. There's a feature right on here called Build Your Own Boy Band. Um, it's about 10 minutes long. It's all about the, uh, the creation of the, the band Four Town in this movie, which I thought was really cool. Plus, Billie Eilish is on there, and I love Billie Eilish. <laughs> then we have the Blu-ray DVD digital code combo pack of Dog. Really, really good movie. Again, saw this in theaters. Loved it. Uh, kind of a shame they released it bare bones, no features. The only feature you get is the trailer to the movie. But, um, yeah, really, really good movie. Uh, then 
this I saw in theaters the same night as uh, Dog and The Curse. Uh, the Curse I didn't really care for. This is the Blu-ray DVD digital copy combo pack of Uncharted. Really fun movie. I uh, really hope they do the sequel, uh, which since this movie made a lot of money, it will do a sequel. But uh, yeah, I hope, uh, I hope it's good. Then we have the Blu-ray of A Day to Die, one of the newest Bruce Willis films, this time with Kevin Dillon and Frank Grillo. This I thought was uh, pretty decent, just like all the other friggin' Bruce Willis movies. Um, not too bad. I'm always entertained by these. Then this I saw in theaters. This is the Blu-ray DVD combo pack of Bell. Loved this movie. I actually it was curious. I watched it with the English dub this time because when I saw it in theaters, I saw it um, in its original audio. And the English dub is actually really, really good on this one. <clears throat> um, yeah, fantastic movie. One of the best anime films I've ever seen. Um, this also has some tremendous special features, so highly recommend getting that and watching that. Then we have the Blu-ray Digital Code Combo Pack of Infinite. This was a movie that I thought was going to be a lot worse because when this came out, a lot of people said this was really bad. I actually liked it. I thought it was fine. Um, I know a lot of people are not uh, uh, too keen on this one, and I can understand that, but I thought it was fine for the most part. Uh, I didn't watch this when it premiered on Paramount Plus last year, but I still enjoyed it for what it's worth. And then the last of the new releases, I'm breezing through these because we have a, a lot to get through, is the Blu-ray digital code combo pack of Studio 666. I did see this in theaters. It's a really fun time. Uh, R.I.P. Taylor Hawkins. You will forever be missed. Um, but yeah, really fun movie with the Foo Fighters. Really fun horror comedy. Really enjoyed that. Now, for the rest of the Blu-ray goodies picked up two Pixar films that I still needed on Blu-ray. Uh, the Incredibles, I only had uh, the second one on Blu-ray. Uh, the first one I had on DVD, so now have that. And then uh, Brave, this actually says it's a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. It just has the Blu-rays inside. I purchased that knowing full well that that's what it was. Um, at least I triple checked it, but Blu-ray, Blu-ray, yes. We're good. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a uh, another Pixar that I needed. I think the Pixars that I need now on Blu-ray are A Bug's Life, Finding Nemo, Ratatouille, and Up. Those are the last four that I need on Blu-ray. And then I have them all in high def. Then we have Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. I now have all the live-action Hellboys on Blu-ray. I uh, still have not seen this or the uh, the first one. I thought the, uh, the reboot was fine uh, for what it was, but yeah, really, really cool. This I picked up for five bucks at a Dollar General. This is a Mill Creek set called Sun, Sand, and Sweat 4 Movie Collection. This comes with Private Resort, Perfect, Spring Break, and Hard Bodies. Been wanting to see a few of these for a little while. Then these last three I picked up at uh, Goodwill's, and I could not believe them because uh, uh, they're all really cool sets. This is, uh, I, for $3.99, this is just a random box set. Get three free Blu-ray movies with a purchase of any 1080p HD TV. Uh, and those three movies are... Fifty First Dates, which I have on DVD, so now upgrading to Blu-ray. Invincible, which I do not have in my collection and I've been wanting to get. Very, very cool. And, brand new, still factory sealed with the old tri-fold security stickers, uh, Night at the Museum. Uh, also an upgrade from DVD. So, three very random titles, one from Sony, one from Disney, and one from 20th Century Fox, which is now Disney. Uh, so, but yeah... Three movies I did not yet have on the format, and in this really cool and interesting, peculiar um, box set, too. Um, I actually am looking at this. I think I have to keep my DVD of 50 First Dates. This looks like it takes off some of the features that are on that DVD. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Anyway, really interesting, cool set. 
Then this double feature right here is, is awesome. This is uh, The Return of Jafar and Aladdin and the King of Thieves. This is These are the two direct-to-video sequels to Aladdin. I have the original and the remake on Blu-ray in my collection. Happy to have that. And then we have the Essential Eastwood Director's Collection. I almost missed this because the way they designed this is the exact same way they designed the Dirty Harry Blu-ray set. So I, I pulled it out. I was like, oh, cool, they have the Dirty Harry set. But then I was like, no, wait, this is something I'm looking for. Um, this comes with uh, Letters from Iwo Jima, Million Dollar Baby, Mystic River, and Unforgiven. Really, really cool. Uh, this I actually only paid $1.99 for because uh, the... Uh, they had Blu-rays marked up at like a like three ninety nine price. Uh, they just charged me one ninety nine for this, so that's awesome. So those are the Blu-rays. Where to next? Um, let's do CDs real quick because there's not a whole lot. So for CDs, the only non soundtrack I picked up because it is a classic uh, band and a classic album, and Justice for All by Metallica. If I find any Metallica or anything like that for cheap, I'm picking it up. The rest of these are soundtracks. We have the classic soundtrack to Back to the Future. Great movie, great soundtrack. The soundtrack to uh, Train Spotting. Uh, I believe this has a second volume to it. Um, I oh, Iggy Pop's on here. I'm not a big fan of Iggy Pop. Iggy Pop's actually on here twice. Sweet. Train Spotting is a great movie, though. I like the second one a lot, too. Uh, Wild at Heart. This has um, Power Mod or Power Mad, uh, Nicolas Cage, uh, Chris Isaac. Um, yeah, a little bit of a weird soundtrack, but still really cool. The soundtrack to So I Married an Axe Murderer. That's really cool. I don't come across this one very often. Toad the Wet Sprocket, Soul Asylum, um, Spin Doctors, The Darling Buds. That's, that's pretty interesting. The soundtrack to Garden State. Um, so now I have the movie and the soundtrack. Uh, when Eric Swinderman, a uh, filmmaker, when he was on the show a few months ago, he mentioned that he really loves the soundtrack to uh, Garden State. He also loves the movie Garden State. Um, so what is on here? Coldplay, The Shins, uh, Simon and Garfunkel. I don't know. Seems like it could be okay. This, I, I think this is one of those ones where i got to watch the movie first. The soundtrack to the Rugrats movie. Um, this is... A really weird movie when I was a kid growing up I, I did watch a lot of Rugrats and I loved loved Rugrats in Paris I, I, I thought that was an absolutely fantastic movie I wasn't a big fan of the first movie I thought the first movie was really really just sad and depressing for and and needlessly dark too I don't understand what that was all about um, and even watching the trailer for it, still, like, I, I get these weird feelings. I'm like, hmm, I don't know. This has Blackstreet and Maya featuring Mace and Blinky Blink, whoever Blinky Blink is. No Doubt with Elvis Costello. Uh, Lisa Loeb. Uh, Busta Rhymes. Devo. Yeah, really, really cool. And then finally, the soundtrack to A Cinderella Story. Um, actually just watched this this week. This is actually a really fun movie. Um, this has Hil a bunch of stuff from Hilary Duff on here. Uh, it has the cover of Our Lips Are Sealed on here, which a lot of people don't like that cover. I, thought, I think it's pretty catchy. Uh, Jesse McCartney, The Goo Goo Dolls, Maya, MXPX. Dude, I love MXPX when I hear them. Uh, I'm not a massive fan, but when I when they come on, I don't turn them off. They're, they're really cool. All right, DVDs. There are a lot of them. Some new releases. Uh, we have a Dollar Tree new release with Shadowland. This was all right. Uh, basically, these, uh, these people are on the run after, like, uh, an accident and a misunderstanding happens. It was, it was kind of boring. I, I really didn't care for it 
Uh, Lockdown. This is a Grindstone title. I don't know why Grindstone's not putting their logo on the DVDs anymore. I don't know if they're ashamed of them or what, but this is a, a Grindstone title, and this was also not very good. Um, the movie f has a really good premise. Basically, these prisoners take over this, like, really small um, police... Um, Oh, what do you call it? Precinct. And um, they, they take it all hostage. But it's so dumb that writing in this movie is piss poor awful. Um, yeah. In, in the end, I, I, I wouldn't recommend it. It's, it's, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's certainly not very good. And we got two Mel Gibson movies. We have uh, Panama, which I thought was pretty decent. Little action thriller with him and Cole Hauser. And then the DVD Blu-ray combo pack of Agent Game. Uh, never do this again. Um, and what's funny is when I opened it, the Blu-ray disc is first. Which begs the question, why wouldn't you do a... I don't know. I'm getting frustrated over nothing. Uh, this was also pretty decent. I enjoyed that. All right, we got a lot of DVDs. We have Gun by uh, Robert Altman, a six-film anthology, little mini-series there. Uh, Ice Road Terror. Dude, I look at that cover. I'm totally getting it. Look Who's Talking Now, the only one of these three movies that not only I didn't have, but I don't think I've ever seen in its entirety. I remember the first one being really good. The second one's kind of all right, but... We'll see. Wing Commander. Uh, Blue's Clues. Blue takes you to school. There are some other Blue's Clues DVDs scattered throughout here. Uh, Black Dragon with Jackie Chan. 1941. Very happy to finally get this in my collection because I hear very infamous things about it. Then some Dragon Dynasty with The Five Deadly Venoms. This is a Shaw Brothers movie. All right. This I actually did watch, um, just because I, I wanted to. It, it, it was really funny. The Comedy Central roast of Pamela Anderson. Uh, I miss when not only Comedy Central did like a bunch of high-profile roasts. They haven't done one in a few years. Um, but when they would put them out on DVD, too. They, Comedy Central, uh, unless it's South Park, they're not putting their stuff out on DVD anymore, which I find really a shame. Um... This has Jimmy Kimmel, Tommy Lee, Adam Carolla, Eddie Griffin, uh, Sarah Silverman, Jeffrey Ross, Andy Dick, Greg Geraldo, may he rest in peace, Lisa Lampanelli. B. Arthur, by far and away, has the funniest set in this whole thing. She reads from one of Pamela Anderson's novels, and it's so, so hilarious. And uh, Courtney Love, who appears so friggin' inebriated in this, um, I had to look online to see if she was drunk, because she keeps shouting from the audience, uh, not from the audience, from the actual panel, the dais, I'm a year sober. And even Jimmy Kimmel's like, I hope that's not true, because if that's sober, I'm really scared. <laughs> uh, Mercy Rule. With Kirk Cameron. Uh -huh. You just know that this is going to be great when the movie's rated KC, Kirk Cameron approved. This film contains material that will inspire your family. Jesus Cameron, I swear. Blue's Clues, Shapes and Colors. Lawrence of Arabia, uh, one of the best picture winners that I have not seen. It's also really long, too. Uh, Welcome to Planet Earth. I find it strange that this movie, like, when you pop it in, it has no menu. Well, it does, and it's just, like, a really weird, like, poster of the DVD, and they're, like, click play, and that's it. This, I did not know was on DVD. I thought it was only on VHS, but I was very happy that it's on DVD, and it's Blue's Big Musical Movie. I watched this a lot when I was a kid. That's when Periwinkle came in, man. This also replaces a VHS copy. This is 52 Pickup. Cradle Will Rock, Thin, an HBO documentary, uh, Louis, or Louis Lamour's The Sackets, this is a three-hour miniseries, Pavement, then we got some spoof movies here, 
Hot Shots and Hot Shots Part 2. Both of these are really good. I have seen these. Spy Hard. I remember this being uh, pretty good. Not too bad. Mafia. This replaces a VHS copy. Also really enjoyed this. Um, yeah, I, I like that one a lot. Then we have FX and FX2. I... For the longest time, I didn't know what these movies were. I just knew that they existed. And until I found out that apparently these are buddy cop movies centered around the special effects industry. How did I not find these sooner? One ninety nine from Goodwill, the complete series of Alien Nation. Awesome. Now I just got to get the movie, and then I will have the complete Alien Nation collection. Oh, another stack of goodness here. Some uh, Disney DVDs. We have Higley Town Heroes, Heroes on the Move. Remember this weird show? I do. I used to watch that uh, uh, quite a bit when I was a uh, youngin'. Uh, Peter Pan. Never seen this. Sleeping Beauty. Never seen this. Uh, this. I had to pick up because uh, if it comes with its 3D glasses, it's, it, that means that it's, it's, it's in good condition. And it came with its 3D glasses, and it is in good condition. And that is, as its lenticular card falls out, uh, Shrek 3D. This takes place in between Shrek and Shrek 2. Wonderful. Uh, just Cause. This is uh, a double feature bank robbery collection. This comes with the Great Bank Robbery and the Great Bank Hoax. Really cool little double feature from Warner Brothers. You know I like my out there Christian movies, so I had to get these. I hear they're pretty infamous. This is The Perfect Stranger and Another Perfect Stranger. Aren't there three of these? I think there's a third one out there that I need to get. Uh, I used to watch this show all the time. I didn't know they did a live show, but this is Bob the Builder, the live show. Taking me back. Uh, four kid favorites, uh, Mary Kate and Ashley Travel the World. Uh, I have all of these on VHS, and now I have them on DVD. They are Winning London, Passport to Paris, Holiday in the Sun, and Win in Rome. Very, very cool. Another spoof ish movie that I was looking for this is Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid. The Missing Gun. Highlander, the Director's Cut. Men at Work. I've been looking for this for a while. Finally happy to find that. This, I have no idea what the hell this is. Um, this is called Crazy White Boys. This is apparently like um, a stunt video. Fast-paced pranks, death-defying stunts, brutal bloody fistfights, felony arrests, gorgeous bare-naked babes. Is this porn? This is not porn. Not easily offended, like crazy shit, then this DVD is for you. I mean, I can't even show you the back of this. It, it's too, like, chaotic and stuff. Like, I just flashed it, but good lord. We'll see. I'll take a look at it, but I don't know. The original uh, The Born Identity, the television miniseries, this is three hours long. I have not seen this. Um, I have seen the uh, the Matt Damon one though, which is which is really good. Doomsday. Accepted. This was on clearance at Half Price Books for only five dollars, and I'm like, yeah, it's a good deal. But I know there's a double feature set. I open it up, and it is the double feature set. So I said, okay, for five dollars, I'm gonna do that. This is House. And House 2, The Second Story, which for some reason is not advertised anywhere on this artwork. I really don't understand that. Um, but yes, you get both uh, the first two movies in here, which is really, really awesome. Deadline with Brittany Murphy. Twisted. Uh, some Brendan Fraser, uh, Extraordinary Measures. I have seen this. This is a pretty decent movie. This I haven't seen, though, and it comes with uh, Michael Keaton as well. The last time. If you guys remember from that episode where I picked those up, uh, uh, Let's Go Thrifting, I also, you also saw me grab Now and Then. 
I had to put that back because, um, first of all, the DVD wasn't in there. Second of all, the disc that was in there was the soundtrack to Coyote Ugly. So, awesome. Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke. I've never seen a single Cheech and Chong. Sweeney and Sweeney 2. Grind. I hear that's somewhat of a cult classic, although to what degree I'm not entirely sure. Oh, a bit awkward. But you get to look at my ugly face for a minute. Okay, there we go. All right, these are the rest of the DVDs. The Cannonball Run, Funny Farm, Teen Witch, The Pickup Artist, Daddy Day Camp, uh, Family Four Film Collection. This comes with Chili Dogs, which I already have in a set. The Gold Retrievers, Cop Dog, and Karate Dog. I'm a glutton for punishment. Eddie, Beautiful Girls. Uh, Until the Day I Die, Dead Silence, the unrated cut, Open Season 1, 2, 3, and Scared Silly, I've only seen the first one, Baby Geniuses and Super Babies, Baby Geniuses 2. Now, I have not seen the full film of Baby Geniuses, but I have seen Super Babies, and it is one of the absolute worst films I have ever seen. So I figured, why not pick them up and enjoy the uh, the awfulness all over again? Mafia, uh, that's weird. Two movies completely unrelated of the same name. Edison Force, Rear Window. I've been wanting to see this for a while. I've not seen that. Another one I've been wanting to see: The War of the Roses. What's up, Doc? Cold War. The Director's Cut uh, Special Edition of Brotherhood of the Wolf. Easy Rider, a classic that I'm ashamed to say I have not seen yet. And finally for the DVDs, Blues Brothers 2000. I have the first one on Blu-ray, and I haven't seen them, so sorry. <laughs> sorry. A little bit of a low blow there. Okay. We have a ton of VHS to look at. And I mean a ton. So for clamshells, we do have uh, Operation Dumbo Drop. Uh, this Terrific Trips uh, from Fisher Price. This is a trip to the magic show and a trip to the firehouse. Um, I was marathoning some of Cool Duder's really older videos, and he said if you ever come across these, definitely pick them up. Um, so I, I got to watch this. And then this, I haven't even put in yet to see if this works, but I'm, I, it might, I don't know. It's a, a Region B release. It's a PAL release. But it's a Blockbuster exclusive double feature of Shake, Rattle, and Roll and Road Racers. Really, really cool. Alrighty. The Kennedys. This is a documentary all about the Kennedys. Um, I am actually really fascinated with the Kennedy family, so that's awesome to have. Uh, the Crew, Homicide with uh, Joe Montaigne and William H. Macy. Who else is in this? Oh, that's all it's going to tell me. Nice. Glitz. Now, I already have this on VHS, but the one that I have is a screener copy, and I kind of don't want to watch that. This is the actual uh, retail copy, so glad I have this so I can finally watch it. Only the Lonely. A Star Maker release with A Town Like Alice. The Taking of Beverly Hills. Taking the Heat. This looks like a buddy cop movie that I have no idea existed, but I'm always happy when I find those. Damaged Care with Laura Dern. Um, does she take on Big Pharma? Yeah, it looks like it. This did not go to theaters. Was this a TV movie? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, Aaron Brockovich. This is the Country Mouse and the City Mouse Adventures. This comes with two tapes with uh, four episodes each on them. Pretty interesting. They're still uh, factory sealed. Uh, Paradise with Melanie Griffith and Don Johnson. 
awesome. I am familiar with their daughter, Dakota Johnson. Power Play. The Blades just signed a fighter, and she doesn't even skate. Uh, this is a great family film, as the VHS says. Uh, is, this, is this one of them Christian films? Yes, it is. I didn't even read the back. I don't want fair. I want to win. That's Robbie Steele's motto in life. An ambitious, aggressive attorney with a Vancouver firm, her win-at-all-costs mentality leaves her with a reputation for cutthroat practices and lands her such nicknames as Ice Queen and The Terminator among her own colleagues, not to mention the competition. Robbie's current challenge is getting the highest dollar possible for her client sale of Vancouver's pro hockey team. Her ace card is recruiting retired star Cody Harris to sign with the struggling team. What Robbie doesn't count on, however, is that Harris, whose past reputation as a brawler attracted the fans, has changed. He's become a Christian. Despite Robbie's hard outer shell, it begins to affect her. Yes, I'm, I'm watching that soon. Oh, Lord. Two Sam Kinison tapes, uh, Breaking the Rules and Live in Las Vegas. Jumpin' Jack Flash, which is a, a movie I don't have. Um, it's pretty hard to get a hold of this and Fatal Beauty on DVD. Sun Chaser with Woody Harrelson. Um, never heard of this, but it does look pretty good. Oh, this is done by Michael Cimino, or Camino, however you pronounce it. He did The Deer Hunter. Yeah, this should be pretty good. The Backstreet Boys All Access Video. Dude, yes. Uh, Rocket Man, I am kind of out of it with my collection. I kind of need to pay more attention. I thought I didn't have this on uh, DVD or anything. I have it on DVD. Um, I guess the VHS is now just for collecting purposes, so wonderful. Renaissance Man. Two Babysitter's Club's tapes. Uh, the Babysitter's and the Boy Sitter's. And Stacy Takes a Stand. Look at that. Awesome. Oh, I told you there were a lot of VHS tapes. Dark Horse with Ed Bagley Jr. and Mimi Rogers. Daybreak with Cuba Gooding Jr. Mary Kate and Ashley Olson, our first video. This is a half hour long. And what is on our first video? Contains seven music videos from Mary Kate and Ashley. The seven videos are I Am the Cute One, One Buffalo, Two Buffalo, I, A Brother for Sale, Mom's Song, We Think Will Keep You, Identical Twins, Peanut Butter, and the very curiously titled No One Tells the President What to Do. Um, I'm going to have to pop that one in. <laughs> Uh, DuckTales, ooh, 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 I just tried doing that, <laughs> Seafaring Sailors, they had another DuckTales tape there, but it was a, a tailspin tape inside. This, I don't know what the hell this is, it looks like porn, but it's not, uh, because it has people like Mia Farrow and Ryan Reynolds and all that. Uh, this is Coming Soon, the unrated director's cut. God, I have no idea look stupid and interesting at the same time. Oh. Give me one second here. I'm bringing them all over. Alrighty. We have Spy Hard, which uh, I picked up on VHS and then like a day later I found on DVD. V.I. Warshawski. Desert Heat. Picked this up for collecting purposes because I want all the Van Dams I can find on tape. Spider-Man 2 also picked this up for collecting purposes. This is a movie you don't come across on tape at all very much. Awesome. Taking care of business. Every day. The object of my affection. Les divorcés. The guru. Almost an angel with Paul Hogan. Final approach. The experience of a lifetime. It will turn your mind inside out the world's first all-digital sound motion picture. That's what it says. I will have to look into that. 
Uh, these I picked up for collecting purposes because who doesn't love horror on VHS? Species and Species 2. FX, again, same situation as Spy Hard. I found this and then I found it on uh, DVD like a day or two later. This looks interesting. This is called um, And God Spoke, like a mockumentary. Um, in the tradition of this, in, uh, this is Spinal Tap, comes this hilarious, critically acclaimed mockumentary about low-budget movie making. The world was created in six days. It was beautiful, but it was way over budget. I don't know. It sounded interesting, and it's got a great cover. And then the rest of these are Blues Clues tapes. I came across a surplus of these. This, the, the case is torn. This is ABCs and 123s. Blue's Big Pajama Party. This is a Blue's special. Reading with Blue. I grew up with Blue's Clues, guys, so this is very, like, comforting to me. Uh, Rhythm and Blue. Nice play on words there. Uh, Blue's Discoveries. And Arts and Crafts. Told you a lot of VHS. Uh, we are going to finish it all up with the books and then be done. Because there are a lot of books. First off... Uh, from Savers, I actually picked up another copy of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I have this this version and the hardback version. I'm going to give this probably to uh, David or somebody on the show. Uh, no, don't fold the paper. Thank you. Then, for two bucks at Savers, Monty Python's Flying Circus, complete and annotated. Basically details all of the sketches of a show that I have never seen. I believe it also goes through the movies. Right? No, it does not. Hmm. Then it's not complete. <laughs> that I'll save for last. Alright, we have... Some James Patterson true crime writings here. Uh, Murder Beyond the Grave, which comes with that, and Murder in Paradise. Home Sweet Murder, which comes with that, and Murder on the Run. The Bird's Nest by Shirley Jackson. Death Duty by Stephen Kimball. Divine Assassin by Bob Reese. Look at that cover. Mouth to Mouth by Michael Kimball. The Victim by Saul Bellow. Look at that. That looks vintage as F. Th th I was happy to find this. The Flight Attendant by Chris um, Bojalian, which is what the uh, HBO Max series is based off of. First Born by Doris Mortman. Uh, First Impression by Margaret Dalton. Donato and Daughter by Jack Early. The Devil's Dress by Mary Mann Fletcher. Uh, Exceptional Clearance by William J. Contz. Uh, NYPD Red 4 by James Patterson. I have the first three. Bates Motel Psycho House by Robert Block. Look at that. That's awesome. Uh, Delaney by Gilbert Morris. Um introduce this is why i picked this up um introducing one tough talking uh tough talking opinionated streetwise detective delaney a hard cop with a warm heart a guy unlike anyone you've ever met before consider one george matthews alleged participant in a simple little holdup that turned out to be not quite so simple now sentenced to die in the electric chair for a murder he says he didn't commit Enter one beautiful woman named Gina, a cocktail waitress who has a past but no future, who proclaims the innocence of the con and who finds herself falling in love with the cop. Presenting one intriguing thriller, written in the style of detective stories made famous by Raymond Chandler and John McDonald, fiction with flair, romance and realism, an intricate tale with an extra twist, Delaney's a Christian. And they make a big deal about that on the cover and this. I had to get that. <laughs> uh, Shoeless Joe 
by W.P. Kinsella. This is what Field of Dreams is based off of. Everything's Eventual by Stephen King. I picked up a few Stephen Kings here. Uh, the Millionaires by Brad Meltzer. Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King. The Grand Street Collector by Joseph Aurelio. Come on. There we go. Uh, Bale Fire by Kenneth Goddard. Seventh Avenue by Norman Bogner. This is a true crime book. This is The Brotherhoods by Guy Lawson and William Oldham. The true story of two cops who murdered four of the mafia. The Ugly Duckling by Iris Johansson. Blood in the Snow, a true crime book by Tom Henderson. Child Star by Shirley Temple Black, an autobiography. That's pretty cool. This amazing cover art, Don Pendleton's Blowout with Mac Bolan. Look at that cover art, guys. Look at that. Just look at that. It's even got pictures on the back. This leads me to believe that this was supposed to be a movie. December by Phil Rickman. Uh, Nine Perfect Strangers by Leanne Moriarty. A Nearly Normal Family by M.T. Edvardson. Doctor Sleep by Stephen King. I believe this is the last of the Stephen Kings, and I'm correct. Fear by Jeff Abbott. No relation to the Mark Wahlberg movie. Hooligans by William Deal. And Murder in the First Reel. Uh, I believe this is like an anthology horror story. I'm not sure, but that cover art is awesome. Alrighty. Like I said, saving that for last. You gotta save the steak for last. We have The Daily Show, The Book, in Oral History by Chris Smith. Uh, the Stupid Crook Book. America's Dumbest Criminals. This is this is pretty cool. Uh, I'll read a short one to you. Chapter 27, Two-Bit Thief. Rhode Island police were sure they had the right man when the suspect charged with a string of vending machine robberies paid his $400 bail entirely in quarters. There you go. The Ten Worst of Everything, The Big Book of Bad by uh, Sam Jordison. This is a book that's actually been on my want list. This is The X List, The National Society of Film Critics' Guide to the Movies That Turn Us On. Nice. Walk This Way, the autobiography of Aerosmith. The Complete Faulty Towers, these are actually just the uh, scripts for the, the episodes. It's not like a biography, but still really awesome. I Am Jackie Chan, My Life in Action. That is a book I've wanted to get for a little while. In Pieces by Sally Field. In the Kitchen with Miss Piggy. Fabulous recipes for my famous celebrity friends. That's a terrible impression. <laughs> Secret Santa uh, by Andrew Schaefer. Look at that cover art. 6 4 by Hideo Yokoyama. I believe I might already have this. I'm not sure, but who knows? Uh, Gregory McDonald Snatch. And it also has um, what's the other one? It has the sequel to it called Safekeeping, The Second Snatch. So that's cool. The Spawn of Lilith, Working in Hollywood as a Living Hell by uh, Dana Fritzke. This actually sounded really interesting. Fun and Games by Dwayne Suzwerki, like a, um, Swierzynski, excuse me. This is actually a proof copy, like a press copy, so that's pretty cool. All the Money in the World by John Pearson. Seen the movie, really like the movie. The Silent Wife by A.S.A. Harrison. Vanilla by Megan Hart. Ooh. <laughs> uh, the Secret History of Las Vegas by Chris Abani. The Chicago Way by Michael Harvey. This is awesome. Uh, the Mike Hammer Collection, Volume 1 by Mickey Spillane. You get three novels in here. I, the Jury, My Gun is Quick, and Vengeance is Mine. I love me some old hard-boiled crime. This is a book. I do have his other book that he did. I can't remember what the name of it is, but I've been wanting to get this one. Kitchen Confidential by Anthony Bourdain. The original novel of Drive. Great, great movie, by the way. Carney Punk. These are like um, steampunk sort of like horror shorts. And the best for last. 
one of my white whales, Crystal Lake Memories, The Complete History of Friday the 13th. This was published in like 05, 06, so it's not the complete anymore because it doesn't talk about the remake or the new game, but still, this is awesome. I've been wanting this for a while, and it's going to be a while to read because look at how much effing text is on one page. You expect me to read that? <laughs> the answer is probably yes, I'm going to read it. There is a really cool... Um, when they're doing Freddy vs. Jason. So really, yeah, there it is. Look at that. I do have the actual one sheet of Freddy vs. Jason, so that's awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.